good morning everybody if you haven't done so yet hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video that big red button help me get to a thousand subs and also hit that like button so today I'm uh, shaking it up once again doing a little something different I picked this up last night Amazon flex order three and a half hours for $82.50 this one was surged from I think $73 so I picked it up. But the cool thing about this is that I've never um, worked in Chico. Haven't dashed there, haven't Instacarted there, haven't done anything. So today's gonna be a first. My plan is to do Amazon Flex, get everything picked up and dropped off. And after that, I'm gonna log on to DoorDash and Uber Eats and just, at the very, very least, I gotta make 36 bucks before I come home. If I make more, great. If I make less, that's bad. Gotta hit at least 120. Oh, today is gonna be an interesting one. It just started raining about, yeah, 18 miles away from the waiting area. I kept getting rattled awake last night because uh, for the past day and a half, we've been having a storm roll through, like a, like a pretty cold storm. And last night the wind gusts came up and I think there was, uh, tin roofing or something at my neighbor's house that was loose so anytime a strong enough strong enough wind gust would come up it would uh, definitely jolt me awake so I'm not 100% here about 85 to 90 goodness that was cold okay let's see I I shut, shut that off so I got 29 drops in Oroville so let's see Oroville is about 29 minutes started. Head southeast on Park Avenue, oh my then God. on a quarter mile turn left onto East Park Avenue. So Oroville is about 29 minutes south of me. On the flip side, I'm gonna have almost an eight hour day today. However, that means I am earmarked for some good money. Well, at least good money to me. Once I'm done with this first route, I'll, uh, I'll post it because then I get, I'll be able to see it. Because right now I can't see it, but I did pick it up while I was standing there waiting to get my packages. So as you can see, I'm all loaded up. It's not the prettiest because it's uh, raining pretty hard outside, but I just wanted to get it in before the packages got wet. Something new I learned though, which I have to be mindful of, when I go to drop these packages off, I have to make sure that they're in a dry safe place. And if there's nowhere I can, if, there, if I can't put them anywhere, anywhere dry, I have to bring them back. Finally coming up on my first drop off. Looks like it's only gonna be one package. Still haven't put my vest on yet. I think I should do that once I get out. I need to get some rain guard for my windows. Alright, so I'm about an hour in from the time I loaded up, well, until now. I'm about a third of the way through as I'm heading to number 10 right now. You know, that's not, that's not too bad given the fact that I had to travel 29 minutes, a half hour, whatever, down to Oroville to get started. Pretty proud of myself. Little something that bugs me about this. The addresses aren't always right within the app, and then there's a pinpoint delivery location that you have to be at. And like this one, it says the building is over there, like 200 feet, but it was over here, so. Something. 
our number two. I called the customer because I couldn't access her house, but she said to leave it right next to the gate, even though it's raining, but she's very confident that her husband will be home shortly. So just uh, leave it at that. I don't even know which delivery I'm on. Okay, so I'm on delivery 22 out of 29, 28, sorry. So I'm gonna try to bust this out real fast and call that good. And then I'll take myself a uh, lunch break. I don't know what I'll get to eat. And then I'll start the second leg of my day. That's what I'll post what I picked up. Oh, this is gonna be fun. There's a big puppy out here. Although I don't think it belongs to this address. Just wandering around. Get this thrown on and then go drop this off. All done. Last two were just across the street from each other. So let's see, this started at 8.30. So it took me about two and a half hours from very start to right this second. Two and a half hours for a three and a half hour delivery window. I think that's good. And then, okay, so now that I'm all done, I can show you. I also picked this up, $108 for a four, yeah, for a four hour shift. I think that price has surged, so I'm happy. I think this is gonna amount to uh, all together, maybe six, maybe seven hour day. All right, I am back. I am in Orland right now, waiting to pick up my orders, packages, whatever. Really have to use the bathroom. I think they have one up there. I just have to go ask them. Let's see, I'm scheduled for a four hour block. That's gonna fill up this car. So it's all gonna be fun, 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 fun. I found this part interesting though. If there are no routes, tap here to get discharged. You must do so in order to get paid. So does that mean I there's a chance I could pick up a route and just not have anything to, to deliver? That'd be insane, especially for what I picked it up for. Getting paid 108 bucks just to go have lunch and then drive all the way over here from Chico. <laughs> That'd be funny. I'm all loaded up. Let's take a look in the back and up front. I looked at the map this time and it doesn't look like I'll be going out like a half hour from town. Looks like it's all within town. So that'll be good. Now we just gotta wait for this guy in front of me to finish loading, which he's just about done. And then we can go start this. So in this block, I got 42 packages and 38 drops. I love it when deliveries are right next to each other. Makes it so much easier. Oh, I love this backup camera. Have I ever told you that? For a second time, the next one's just right there. This is the stuff I gotta watch out for right now. Look at that. Wasn't too bad. That was a really nice drop off. Got water out of it. Oh, but where am I going? Right around the corner. That's what I like. All right, so I'm an hour in, it's 324. I left the Amazon facility at 222. So far, I'm heading to my 17th drop. Then I'll be done with this in about no more than an hour and a half. Branches littered 
all over the road. That's what you get. Oops. When you deliver to county, you get cool things like this. Yeehaw! Well, I hate every so often that I run into a roadblock. I'm at a gated house. There's no access number, no directions. Just deliver it. But I don't think I can leave it out here. It is way too wet to put anything out here. So I might have to fail this one. I'm gonna give her another minute or so and then just keep going on the phone with support. Can't contact the customer and I gotta fail this delivery now. You know, at least, at least support is painless. They got their things they gotta do on their end, but again, that's, it's, it's all good. So, but during that time, uh, the rain really started coming down. So yeah, I'm definitely not leaving it, leaving it, leaving it out there. Okay, so we're on hour number two. It's 429. I am on stop 30. I should be back to the Amazon facility to make my last drop, getting that failed delivery out of my car. And I'm hoping it'll put me right at five o'clock. So, just made the last drop off, and apparently I had an extra package in here that wasn't mine, and it wasn't part of the failed delivery either. It's 5.08, almost hit that goal, but now I gotta head back to the Amazon facility, get rid of these two packages, and I am heading home. So, if you enjoyed hanging out with me today, why don't you give this video a big thumbs up? And if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button, help me get to a thousand subs. And with that, my name is Dennis. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful night. And I'll see you in the next video.